So, today I'm going to show you all how to wash the For Kinks Goddess, Empress, and Queen wigs. Well, actually I'll do the Queen, the Empress, and the Goddess wig in that order. Once you've opened up the box and taken the wig out, so what you're going to notice about the For Kinks wigs is that they're really condensed and right out the box they they need to be washed, they need to be separated, and they need to kind of be picked through in order for it to look like the picture. Well, another thing about for kinks is that because it's really, really kinky, the strands are very fine. So you have to be very, very careful when washing the wigs um, in order to reduce the amount of shedding that you experience. When washing that for kinks queen wig, what you're going to do is take it out the bag and get it underneath the water and saturate it with warm water. After you've saturated with it with water, you want to take it section by section and kind of pull it out with your hands. Try to finger comb it a little bit. Then you take a clarifying shampoo and rub it in each section. So once I've done that in sections, sometimes I'll take my Tangle Teaser or a Demon Brush, preferably the Tangle Teaser with For Kinks, and hold the hair mid shaft and just brush through that individual section. Brush through it all the way down to the root with the clarifying shampoo in it. Because this is the shorter wig, it's not going to be as hard to brush through, but with the longer one, you really, really want to be careful when pulling it out to really get it to, um, to stretch out without pulling out the hair from the weft. So because it's a wig, the wefts are thinner than regular wefted hair. And because it's a kinkier texture, you have to be careful because it's a little bit more fragile. After you've pretty much gone through it in sections and brushed it through, you can see it's kind of loosening a little bit. I'm going to rinse the wig. And then I'm going to apply conditioner in sections. Now when it's wet, it's going to feel a little hard. But once you've put leave-in conditioner on it after the deep conditioner and you hang it to dry, it'll get really, really soft again. So you just want to bear with it while it's wet. You don't want to do too much combing. You don't want to comb it all the way from the root just so that you don't lose a lot of the hair. Try the Denman instead. There we go. You can, so we'll, we'll use a Denman for now. What you don't want to do with this wig is you don't want to take the brush and hold it from the top and brush down. You don't want to do that with for kinks because of how gentle it is and you're a lot more likely to lose a lot of hair when you do that. So you really want to be careful with it and just take your time Set some time aside to wash this wig so that you can get the best out of it. So once you've repeated that all over and done it and rinsed it out, you can see it's starting to take the shape it's supposed to. It's going to start to take the shape. This is a full cap wig um, and it also comes in U part form. While it's a little bit damp, I take a leave-in conditioner and just spray it throughout the wig. Spray it, spray it, rub it in, and then I can get to dry. And by the time it dries, it usually fluffs up again. This is the same thing that you would do with the Empress wig, which is a little bit longer. This one has actually already been washed, but the reason why I wanted to show you this is just to show you how it's, it looks a lot, so oh, sorry, you got one right there, a lot softer and has more of the texture and fullness once it's been washed. And so now this is a goddess wig that I wanted to show it to you now that it's dry, um, just to show you again how like after you've taken it out, you've washed it and you've pulled it out, you can see 
how the length really comes through, the texture really comes through, and it looks a lot fluffier than when it does out the package. Right here, this is kind of like what it looked like when you when you got it newly. And all you do is, of course, like I said, wash it and gently, you know, pull this out while washing it and brushing it, holding it midway so that it doesn't, you know, so you're not yanking it out the wig. And especially for the goddess one, because it's so kinky and it's so long, it's much easier for this one to snap. The thing to, be, to make sure about the goddess wigs is a lot of times you'll really develop single strand knots at the bottom just like you would with your natural hair. So I don't really do anything to them. If they start hanging, I'll clip them, I'll dust the ends a little bit. So that's about it. And if you want to see what it looks like on, then you can watch our other video where we show you how to actually put it on.